You'll Never Walk Alone is a show tune from the 1945 Rodgers and Hammerstein musical Carousel. In the second act of the musical, Nettie Fowler, the cousin of the female protagonist Julie Jordan, sings You'll Never Walk Alone to comfort and encourage Julie when her husband, Billy Bigelow, the male lead, is killed when trying to escape capture after a failed robbery attempt when he falls and lands on his knife. It is reprised in the final scene to encourage a graduation class of which Louise is a member. The now invisible Billy, who has been granted the chance to return to Earth for one day in order to redeem himself, watches the ceremony and is able to silently motivate the unhappy Louise to join in the song. The song is also sung at association football clubs around the world, where it is performed by a massed chorus of supporters on match day. This tradition began at Liverpool Football Club in the early 1960s and later spread to several other clubs, most notably Celtic FC, as well as various other Dutch and German clubs. Background Christine Johnson, who created the role of Nettie Fowler, introduced the song in the original Broadway production. Later in the show Jan Clayton, as Julie Jordan, reprised it, with the chorus joining in. In the film, it is first sung by Clara May Turner as Nettie. The weeping Julie Jordan tries to sing it but cannot. It is later reprised by Julie and those attending the graduation. Subsequent history, besides the recordings of the song on the Carousel cast albums and the film soundtrack, the song has been recorded by many artists, with notable hit versions made by Roy Hamilton, Frank Sinatra, Jerry and the Pacemakers, Judy Garland, Elvis Presley. Andy Williams, and Doris Day. Progressive rock group Pink Floyd took a recording by the Liverpool Cop Choir, and interpolated it into their own song, Fearless, on their 1971 album Medal. From 1964 through 2010, Jerry Lewis concluded the annual Jerry Lewis MDA telethon by singing the song. After the end of a concert by the rock band Queen, the audience spontaneously sang this song according to lead guitarist Brian May, and this helped to inspire the creation of their songs We Are the Champions, and We Will Rock You. Italian-American tenor Sergio Franchise sang a notable version accompanied by the Welsh Men's Choir on the June 9, 1968 telecast of The Ed Sullivan Show. He also covered this song in his 1964 RCA Victor album The Exciting Voice of Sergio Franchi. American singer and songwriter Barbara Streisand sang this song in a surprise appearance at the close of the 2001 Emmy Awards, in honor of the victims of the September 11, 2001 attacks. In 1990 at the Nelson Mandela, an international tribute for a free South Africa concert at Wembley Stadium London, the audience spontaneously broke out into a mass rendition of You'll Never Walk Alone. Mandela turned to Adelaide Tambo who accompanied him onto the stage and asked what the song was. She replied, a football song. Rena copyright E. Fleming sang the song at the concert for America, which marked the first anniversary of 9-11, and for the inauguration of Barack Obama on January 20, 2009. In 2010, this was sung during the festivities of the last night of the proms, with a choir at the Royal Albert Hall joined by crowds of the public from Hillsborough Castle, Northern Ireland. Kaid Hall, Dundee. High Park, London. Salford, Greater Manchester. And Wales, to mark the 50th anniversary of the death of Oscar Hammerstein II. In the second season of American Horror Story, this song was recited as a poem. It has been the Madison Scouts' core song since 1954 where they first performed You'll Never Walk Alone as a part of their first field show in 1954. Challenged by the Cavaliers singing somewhere, over the rainbow in 1957, the core responded with You'll Never Walk Alone, and it has been the official core song ever since. Sporting Anthem In the United Kingdom, the song's most successful cover was released in 1963 by the Liverpudlian Merseybeat group Jerry and the Pacemakers, peaking at number one in the singles chart for four consecutive weeks. The song quickly became the anthem of Liverpool Football Club and is invariably sung by its supporters moments before the start of each home game. According to former player Tommy Smith, lead vocalist Jerry Marston presented Liverpool manager Bill Shankly with a recording of his forthcoming cover single during a pre-season coach trip in the summer of 1963. Shanks was in awe of what he heard. 
football writers from the local newspapers were traveling with our party and, thirsty for a story of any kind between games, filed copy back to their editors to the effect that we had adopted Jerry Marston's forthcoming single as the club song. The squad was subsequently invited to perform the track with the band on the Ed Sullivan show and Shankly later picked the song as his eighth and final selection for Desert Island Discs on the eve of the 1965 FA Cup final. Marston himself told BBC Radio how, in the 1960s, the disc jockey at Anfield would play the top ten commercial records in descending order, with the number one single transmitted last, shortly before kickoff. Spectators would sing along, but unlike with other hit singles, Once You'll Never Walk Alone dropped out of the top ten, instead of disregarding the song, supporters continued to sing it. The song was later adopted by Scottish team Celtic and is now sung by their fans prior to every home European tie. The song has also been adopted by Dutch teams Feyenoord, FC Twente and SC Cambu, Germany's Borussia Dortmund, FSV Mainz 05, 1. FC Kaiserslautern, SV Darmstadt 98, Eintracht Braunschweig, Borussia Mar Paragraph and Schengelad Batch, Alemania Aachen, FC Street Pauli, TSV 1860 Munich, Belgium's Club Brugge, Japan's FC Tokyo, Spain's CD Lugo and the Marist St. Pat's MSP 80-80 Blues. In ice hockey, the song has been adopted by German Deutsche Eishockey League side Krefel Penguin and Croatian Med the Infinite Arc Zagreb. Also in Portugal in the 90s by Sport Lisboa e Benfica. A special recording of the song was made in solidarity with Bradford City following the Valley Parade fire in 1985, when 56 spectators died and many more were seriously injured. The song was performed by the crowd, featuring Jerry Marsden and Paul McCartney, among others. Some years later, after witnessing a rendition of You'll Never Walk Alone at Anfield in 2007, the president of the Spanish Olympic Committee, Alejandra Blanco, said he felt inspired to seek lyrics to his country's wordless national anthem, the March are real, ahead of Madrid's bid to host the 2016 Olympic Games. During the 2014 Hong Kong protests, legislator Tam Ai Chung quoted the song during a Legislative Council of Hong Kong meeting, to salute the Hong Kong police, who had received widespread criticism for using excessive force against pro-democracy protesters. More than 2,000 Liverpool football club fans in Hong Kong condemned his inappropriate use of the song, comparing his support of the police action to the police actions in the 1989 Hillsborough disaster, where British police were found to have distorted facts relating to the accidental death of 96 Liverpool supporters. The song was also the inspiration for Australian football league club Port Adelaide Euro unregistered trademark s use of Never Tear Us Apart by INXS as their pre-match anthem, which is played before every AFL home game at Adelaide Oval. Recorded versions. References. External links. Full lyrics of this song at Metro Lyrics.